Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Little get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. hook after blocking that shot. That's a solid right hand by Torres. On his side. that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Torres has got a cut, and it looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Turns to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Ten clicks of the talk. Here we go, round two is underway. You got this. Targeting that one, two. Protect the midsection. Right back to the belt line. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Good looking combo by Clover. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice, crisp one-two combination by Torres. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Not able to land the headshot. And the countdown, the final moments of this round. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Torres. And that's the end of round two. Torres' is cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, hey, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. There's the combo downstairs. Able to cover up that gut. Nice! Takes one, gives 
scores one. The right hand scores well. The Warriors nailed by a hook. Torres's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Flubber's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Nice block by Clubber. Torres is once again the target of a hook. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Solid left hand to the head. You gotta give him a Lovers up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Very accurate two-punch combo by Clubber. Clubber's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Keep it going. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breathe. Excellent jab by Torres. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Torres is nailed by a huge uppercut. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Clubber's ability to properly throw and land his combination has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Keep moving around the ring. Get on your bike. Get on your bike. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Torres. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. How about a return to sender with the left hand? The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Little head knocking with that right hand. Good two-punch combo by Clubber. Torres is left, working well that time. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Clubber. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Keep moving, baby. Move, move, move. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Targeting the uppercut, and it works. Target 
looking at each other. The exchange was something special. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. Little volume punching to the body there. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here, but interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Wow! One punch power has ended this fight! Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done! This fight was just meandering along, just kind of lingering, and then boom, one solid punch ends it. Well, it gets us going, it gets the crowd going, and it's great for the sport. This is what brings fans. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.